Uh, welcome to the Business Standard Banking Show. The last financial year, public sector banks reported a very healthy uh, turnaround, and SBI also reported a healthy uh, top line and bottom line. However, the outlook for the current financial year is clouded by inflation, which prompted the Reserve Bank of India to uh, start increasing interest rates. To talk more about the Indian banking sector and about SBI, we have uh, Dinesh Kumar Khara, Chairman, State Bank of India, with us today. Mr. Khara, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. The first thing, uh, let me ask, start uh, by asking you that SBI has reported very healthy loan growth in the quarter four. Most important part is that corporate loan growths have, have come back. Do you see this trend continuing uh, in, in, in the current financial year? Yeah, certainly, because, you know, essentially when we look at the loan growth, which we have witnessed in the last financial year, last quarter of the last financial year, it is essentially attributed to the better utilization of the working capital limits for the large corporates and also availment of the term loan facilities which were sanctioned. So I think that is that trend still continues and uh, apart from that we have got a healthy pipeline of the proposals which are under process. So that uh, actually augurs well for the likely corporate growth, corporate credit growth also. Uh, the other very important factor is that, you know, the capacity utilization has improved in the economy. It has moved up beyond 72%. So, invariably, we have seen that as and when the capacity utilization improves beyond a threshold, it certainly leads to better utilization of the working capital. Apart from that, our retail engine continues to do very well. So, that I think will continue to be there in the current financial year. And apart from that, we'll have the support coming in from the corporate side also. So that's why I hope that we will have a decent credit growth in the in, in the current financial year too. So in this current financial year, you expect a better credit growth than the previous financial year? Uh, we expect that at least it should be at the same level, if not better. Yeah. Like it could be better too. It could be better too. Sir, in the last few days, the liquidity situation has slightly tightened. The kind of surplus liquidity we have seen in April has suddenly come down now. Do you think that could impact loan demand uh, to some extent? As far as we are concerned, we are quite comfortably placed. And uh, we have got a decent AFS book also, yeah. which uh, enables us to ensure that there should be enough liquidity for all the times to come. Yeah. If at all we will see a decent growth in credit, we can always make that book also available for supporting. But nevertheless, if I look at the YOY growth in terms of the deposit as well as advance, as well as advances, I am seeing healthy trends both in deposit and advances. So I think that gives me a confidence that as well as SBA is concerned, no challenge. So coming to retail loans, uh, we, uh, as the interest rate scenario is changing, interest rate going to go up. Do you think the retail credit growth momentum uh, could continue despite interest rates? Going to uh, we have seen po uh, positive trends in terms of the retail loan growth. And uh, I would like also like to emphasize that when it comes to retail loans, um, even the borrower will also look at their EMI to NMI ratio. Right. And uh, invariably, we have seen that during inflationary conditions, even the salaries also increase. So to that extent, if at all loans are contracted at a particular rate of interest, then perhaps, you know, invariably, we have seen that it makes sense for the borrowers to to create an asset by uh, by raising leverage. Right. So invariably the asset prices will keep on improving during inflationary conditions. Right. Whereas the repayment obligation remains almost constant or marginal increase. Right. So to that extent it is beneficial for uh, the borrowers to create assets by raising leverage. And uh, that actually gives me the confidence that uh, we should continue to see the robust growth for the retail loans as well. Uh, coming to asset quality, SBI has improved uh, healthy asset quality number, asset quality has improved in the fourth quarter. Going ahead, there are two specific issues. One is the loans given to the salaried class, you know, because we are seeing some pressure in the tech-related sectors. A lot of these people took loan using the SBI UNO app, which is a very popular app. Do you think some pain coming from the salaried class because of the attrition or the layoffs which is happening now? These loans uh, which have been given personal loans or the XOS credit loans are given to the corporate salary package customers right. and uh, a very significant part of that is are the government employees, public sector employees, defense forces 
so they are the kind of people who have availed these zones so the kind of uh, stress which you indicated we actually don't witness that kind of stress our uh, when we look at the quality of our retail loan book uh, the the npa percentage is very low so i think uh, that is something which we are very proud of of having underwritten an excellent book and we don't and we surge any challenge for our retail loan book other issue is the sb loans uh, sbi has about 25% cagr in the last 2 to 3 years uh, of the all of the sb loan growth now smes are also facing some problem they are facing volume pressure do you think sme could be a potential risk a potential concern for you going ahead uh, our experience still not does not suggest us we have been very careful in terms of uh, ensuring that the credit quality of the bank remains the top class and uh, in the past also we have said that if at all we we visualize even a slight indication of a stress we rather believe in providing for such stress even much before we are ex- we are required to provide for in terms of the regulatory prescriptions and that is one of the reasons why our pcr issue now stands at 90% plus so that way we have built up an up cushion in the within the balance sheet for even the remotest possibility of the stress and uh, i don't expect any kind of a challenge on this count coming to sir capital your capital adequacy was close to 14% 13.83% as on march end given the kind of growth you are looking at Uh, do you think you will be plan you will be raising equity capital in the current financial year i think we will be taking a call as of now the kind of growth which you are uh, which you are visualizing for the current financial year we are well equipped to provide uh, to support that kind of a growth with the with the current capital adequacy if required we will be raising some tier 1 tier 2 bonds depending upon how the situation really pans out so right now no as of now uh, uh, we have uh, not really gone to the board with any kind of a, uh, a proposal for the capital raise are you not looking are you, are you looking to list one of one of the subsidiaries the sbi general insurance or the uh, sbi amc which is fine we have nurtured these uh, these subsidiaries over the period of time and uh, we were like to take them to market at the right and opportune time so that's what i believe and that's what we will be doing because that is also an option for you to raise capital absolutely any time any time but the- so those are the pockets which you will avail mm-hmm. and but i don't want to really compromise uh, when it comes to listing such uh, such entities at a point of time when perhaps they may not fetch the right price right so i mean you have not taken a call right and opportune time would be the guiding factor right. in this sir uh, talk tell us some something about the margins uh, in a rising interest rate scenario i mean do you think you would be able to protect your margins almost about 75% of our book is linked to mclr eblr mm-hmm. or repo so that way uh, in the rising interest rate scenario normally it turns out to be beneficial for the banks which have uh, got the floating rate right. of interest as compared to fixed rate right. so i think uh, we are very well placed in that uh, in, in that context on the other hand casa in a rising interest rate scenario people tend to put their money more in fixed deposits and not in casa deposits we have seen sbi's casa ratio fallen in the fourth quarter uh, how how do you see the situation going on uh, casa is invariably a portfolio which is uh, very very uh, you know uh, it goes through volatility right and particularly because if at all it is evaluated on a particular day right. and then it will depend upon how people have utilized their current accounts if they have withdrawn money from their current account and invariably it is so mm. on 31st of march invariably we have seen that the corporates and even the governments also mm. they will draw their uh, uh, the funds which are lying in in the current account for deployment for the purposes for which it was intended so that is something we have seen but uh, normally it has been in the range of about around 46% so it has remained more or less in the same range marginal movements here and there 
so not really worrying as much but yes of course uh, it is also linked to various technology solutions which are being offered by the bank and uh, our technology bouquet and the products are increasing every day so i am sure going forward we should be in a position to give it more stability or maybe we will be in a position to improve it also marginally right right treasury operations is another area where things is talked about much talked about because yields are rising uh how do you see your treasury profits going ahead is there any any discussion with the regulator for some dispensation amortizing the losses over few quarters no there are uh, no such discussion and uh, see the uh, the fact of the matter is that even rbi has already given permission for putting uh, 23% of the ndtl into uh, the the hdm category yes. so that actually Uh, in a in, in a rising interest rate scenario where the yields and the coupons are increasing actually that gives a another muscle for the banking system to earn better yield and also to take care of the mtm losses which might be there in the afs book so that is one part of the story but the other part of the story is that if at all we witness a decent credit growth mm-hmm. uh, we will be in a position to shrink our afs book also and we can deploy that money for more productive uses through the credit of take so that will also help us in in uh, actually reducing our mtm and on the top of it our mtm uh, as far as uh, uh, when it comes to the duration portfolio duration would be less than 2 in the afs book okay. so that is something these are the kind of things which actually gives us uh, some kind of a comfort and apart from that last year uh, we had provided for uh the security receipts also which was almost about 3600 crore mm-hmm. which we provided and uh, this year we don't have any such obligation to provide yes. for okay. so to that extent uh, we have created an elbow room uh, in the treasury book also to withstand uh, any such impact which might be there for uh, on on the afs book during the rising interest rate scenario right mr khara thank you so much for talking to business standard Thanks a lot. Thanks for giving an opportunity. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration success so high i will achieve i will fly high i am the i in sbi i'm the nation's trusted bank sbi the bank of to every indian